Welcome to the next project. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. It's kind of a tool modification project. I have purchased uh, this handheld oscillating spindle sander a month or two ago. I don't know. I've used it quite a bit, surprisingly, on a number of things. Uh, I really like it. I do have a router table that I use. It's my ghetto router table. It's just a slab, a piece of uh, chipboard that's got melamine surface on both sides. It's really disposable, but I've used it for a couple years and it just keeps working. Um, I clamp it to the tailgate of my truck, I clamp it to my bench, I find a big trash can, I set it in the trash can, it leans against the wall and I'm not using it. It's a great, cheap option to having an actual router table. Anyway, I've set this up now so it has a base to it that I can drop into my router table and use this as just a standard oscillating spindle sander. So that's what we're going to build today. Let's start the next project. Using the router base as my template, I add a couple wooden strips to add as spacers between the uh, aluminum base and the MDF. This way my flush trim bit bearing will ride on the aluminum and the cutting surface of the bit will hit the MDF. And it's time to start making things up as we go. Find a center line, draw around the base of the sander. Punch the hole through the MDF for the sanding drum. And now start figuring out some shoulders that will hold the base uh, in place so I can figure out how to mount it all together. Sometimes I wonder if I buy tools just to create more work for myself. I'm just getting carried away at this point, thicknessing the shoulders down. I could have just notched them uh, where I needed the uh, thickness to be different, but, you know. This is a good way to really toughen up MDF. You take some super glue and you smear it. Uh, any edge you've cut away or any other surface area you want to toughen up quite a bit. Now I'm getting the rough drilling done to install some T-nuts that I will use to actually mount my mounting brackets, I guess you would call them. And where the T-nuts overhang the wood a little bit, I do go ahead and grind that back before uh, I do my assembly. And if it's not bad enough, I can't find the screws I want to use to uh, attach the shoulders. I also can't find the clamps I want to use, so uh, yeah, you have to be resourceful at times. Okay, so then I find some screws that I'm going to use, but they're too long. So what do you do? Yeah, bolt cutters are handy. Again, with not having enough screws to do the job, I had planned on putting two screws in each of those aluminum brackets, one on either side, but I only had two screws total. 
turned out, you know, one screw per side worked pretty well. This little sander does a pretty good job, especially for right around $50 or $55, whatever it was. It doesn't have the power of a full-fledged tabletop model, but for small things, this template work and things, it does a pretty good job. You have to be a little bit patient, but you know, such is life. <laughs>